Welcome to Hot Rods and Cool Wheels in the NRV. This week's episode is brought to you by Collision Plus, a family-owned and operated automotive repair center for over 20 years. In my first vehicle that my dad bought me when I when I turned 16 was was a Jeep, and that didn't last too long. It was kind of a piece of junk, and I ended up rolling it, and probably wasn't the best or safest vehicle to have at the time. But uh, ever since then, my dad and I have kind of had a passion for Jeeps. So both of us would look on eBay all the time, and and uh, eventually we did come across something, and he said, "Well, let's just, let's go ahead and bid on it and see what happens." And uh, the Jeep turned out to be in. Um, Detroit, Michigan. We had no idea really what we were getting into. It just it looked nice in the picture. It seemed like a good deal at the time. At first glance, it, it looks nice. It looks like it's got a lot of potential. But you know, when we started digging a little deeper, it ex kind of exposed itself as to what it really was, which was a, kind of a Frankenstein vehicle. It, it had parts from this slapped on it, parts from that slapped on it, not much of it really fit together. It kind of was put together to look like something. Uh, wasn't, wasn't roadworthy, was far from safe. Uh, a lot of the components that were tempted to be put on it wouldn't mesh, they wouldn't, they wouldn't work properly, and if they did work, they'd fail within a matter of time. I remember a specific moment where uh, Ted and I were kind of just scratching our head. I said, well, how, how far down the rabbit hole do you want to go? And uh, he, we both kind of had this tentative look on our face and we, we said, well, let, let's just go all the way. I, I was very skeptical as to what we were going to actually do with it. When we originally started into it, n nothing on the vehicle fit properly. Things were kind of done halfway, so when we took the body off of it, it just got to be more and more of, of, of a can of worms. It already came originally with this V8 that's in it. This is a 350 uh, small block Chevrolet motor. It's got a mild cam in it, Elderbrock intake and carburetor. But we had to change a lot of the mounting, the situations with the clutches. We had to change all the hydraulics. We had to put, um, power booster brakes on it, we had changed the portioning valves in it, we had to fabricate a lot of the brackets, things of this sort to make things work in it. It also still has a you know a tilt steering column, so all of that had to be manufactured to shafts for the power steering. Back in the, the older days, that's the way they did it. The transmission itself, uh, you had one shifter for a high and low, one shifter for four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, and then the other shifter is for the overdrive. We've put some conveniences in it. Uh, it's got you know a nice stereo. The power steering is a is a big help with such a short wheelbase. If you're not going a good clip of speed, it can be very difficult to manage, especially if you're in a parking lot or something like that. So power steering is a big big plus. The the color was handpicked by the customer to to match a passion of his, Virginia Tech, and we carried that a step further. These Jeeps didn't have uh, carpet in them. They were just metal on the inside that was painted. Uh, I don't like to put paint on things that get a lot of traffic or things placed on top of them, so we actually used our ability to spray bed liner and we tinted the bed liner to match the exact color of the vehicle. Bed lined the inside uh, to match and while we were at it, while we had the vehicle apart, we bed lined the under part of the body, uh, the firewall, the under of the fenders. So really, this vehicle is going to have a lot longer longevity than any of the ones that was built from the factory. When it was finally finished, I was speechless. I didn't really know what to say because it was such a night and day difference from the way we bought it to how it looked now and the way it looked in. And I mean, literally, the first day I took it, I bet you 25 people were driving next to me or honking their horns or turning their heads. or. I remember going home and telling my dad, I, I've never been a part of anything like this. I just, it, I felt like I was the, the center of attention driving down the street. It was a really kind of neat, neat feeling. You know, I don't know if it, it's even the, the Jeep obviously is a, is a lot of what I enjoy, but just the, the camaraderie of, of uh, Jason and Ted and my dad and I kind of putting it together and, and, and my dad and I sharing something and, and having something unique like that together, I think is, is a, uh, is the biggest thing that 
that I'm the most happy about, I think. Thanks for watching Hot Rods and Cool Wheels in the NRV. Brought to you by Collision Plus. Please visit any of the three Collision Plus locations in Blacksburg and Christiansburg when you need car repairs or upgrades.